we're on a uh, F7A that was built in 1949. This locomotive runs on uh, 600 volts DC up to 2000 amps is what it will put out. The uh, engine's rated at 1500 horsepower. This is a control stand up here. You've got your amp gauge, your air gauges for the brakes, your uh, brake handle, brake levers, and uh, all your electrical control switches for the generator and uh, lights, radio, speedometer. Then we'll go back here. This is the control cabinet. This is where you turn all your power on to operate the locomotive. This still operates, it's still the original equipment from back in the 40s. All right, this is the main generator, which is run by the 1500 horsepower 567 Detroit diesel engine. It's an EMD, which is a division of General Motors. This is a 16 cylinder. Uh, 567 cubic inches per cylinder and so uh, you, the pistons are eight and a half inches in diameter so you have a lot of torque a lot of but this is a low speed diesel engine with your uh, over the road trucks and stuff you'll run 2300 2500 rpms some even go higher but um, this because of the amount of pist you know weight mass the maximum rpm is only 975 Okay, this is a roots blower. This is a two cycle engine. It has to have a blower to push the air into the ports. So this uh, locomotive here has two roots blowers and one on each side that actually forces air in and pushes it into the cylinders. This is a valve cover. It covers the uh, valve assembly on top and the cam. Down here lower, these are called flashcocks. It's a compression release. So if you, when you go to fire the engine up, you open them up and uh, spin it over, make sure you don't have any water or anything inside the cylinders, then you close them up and fire the engine off. These are inspection covers for the ports for the uh, two cycle engine. It has ports up here and exhaust valves up here. This is a water pump. There's two of them to cool the engine. Uh, oil pump. There's actually a scavenge pump and a main oil pump. There's one and the other. This right here is the governor, which controls the speed of the locomotive there is eight different speeds but it, it controls the rpm of the engine from 270 rpm 275 rpm to, to 975 rpm the governor also has a button on it for low oil pressure if it, the oil pressure gets low this pops out and shuts the engine down oh this is the over speed lever if the engine revs over a certain rpm this lever, this kicks out the, the cams and actually stops the engine so it doesn't blow up. This trips on its own. Oh, okay. This is automatic. It trips on its own. Once it's tripped, you cannot start this engine. Mm -hmm. You have to reset it. This is the lay shaft. It's for starting the engine. You push this in. It's like gas pedal. You push that in to fire the engine off as you crank it over. This is a fuel pump. It pumps the fuel to the fuel to the fuel rack which is inside the valve covers. This is the oil filters. There's four in here, the main oil filters. Change every 92 day inspection. Fuel filter, main fuel filter. These are the final fuel filters. There's two of them. In case one plugs you have a secondary. These are the sight bowls that uh, when you go to start the engine these have to be full of fuel and then uh, it, that way you know that your fuel rack's full. This is a strainer for the oil system. It uh, strains the oil as it's coming back and then it goes through the filters. This is what powers all the coach cars. Actually it powers sev several of them, not all of them. Our main generator has 513 uh, kW. Um, it's a Detroit diesel engine. It's a 6V92, has the same system as the locomotive. It has a blower, it's a two cycle engine. You have a roots blower up here, ports down here, access covers. Basically it's the same setup, just in miniature compared to the 16 cylinder diesel locomotive. This produces 480 volts and as it goes through the cars then we transform it down to 120 volts to, for our needs on all the uh, other equipment. To uh, start the engine, 
you put in the main disconnect switch, which is in the front control panel there, the big knife switch. Then uh, you have to uh, turn the switch back here to prime the fuel pump, which, or the fuel rack, which uh, primes the locomotive. Once the fuel line is primed, then it'll fire off and start running. So it's really simple for, I mean, this was all done in the 40s, late 40s, and they've kept it real simple and it's pretty much straightforward. This works as a starter to start it. Once it's started, then it reverts back to a generator. They uh, put the generator field in to energize the generator and start the traction motors moving.